Hi everybody, welcome to Sophia with an F. I am in Nashville, Tennessee, which is my new fucking home. And I'm super excited to get into this week's guest. But before I do, I need to let y'all know, y'all. Wow. I've, wow. I've, I've been in Tennessee. You've been here for six hours. <laughs> I need to let y'all know that this entire episode will be on YouTube. And please subscribe and you will want to because my guest is Jay Cutler. Okay. And you guys want to see him. He is a former, you played for the Bears, you played for Broncos. Mm. Can you tell I don't really follow sports? You're hiding it well. <laughs> Does that annoy you? Not at all. But he's also very rich, very attractive. So you guys, <laughs> you guys absolutely want to see him uh, like visual, okay? Um, Jay, I'm super excited for you to be on. I was just on his podcast, Uncut, which is incredible. We got wild on there. I have so many questions for you. Oh, boy. Do you always just get asked sports questions for no. the most part? No. 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 No one talks to you about your career. No. <laughs> Not anymore. Okay, well. Like, you're, you get, you get your old, your old news in a hurry. You are? I mean, once you get out, yeah, like you're, like you're done. Really? No, I feel like you're a legend. Um, no. I no? Mean, I mean, there's nothing much to talk about. Like, what are you going to say? Like, I, hey, I remember this game, or like it is what I it mean, is. Like, there's there's always, there's new games happening. There's new new players. Right. So. Even my kids don't even care about me anymore. They don't? No, they're like, hey, they yeah, they they're, they got new people there do, to watch. Do you have them playing football? No, <clears throat> not at the moment. Um, oldest Camden wants to. He basically asked once a week. Um, he played lacrosse this past year. I want him to continue to play lacrosse because I think it's it's a great sport mm -hmm. um, and hopefully to keep him out of football. But Yeah, we'll you want to keep him out of football. I, I would like to. I mean, I think it's going to be impossible. but Because it, it's so dangerous or uh, what? Yeah, I mean, it's just, I mean, the chances of like, I mean, I think it's a great sport, team building. You learn a lot of mm -hmm. morals and values and how to work with people. Um, but I think you can learn that from other sports as well. So mm -hmm. if he's if he wants if he really is hardcore about it and wants to play, I'm not going to stop him. Um, I just think at age you know six, seven, eight, nine, ten, like right. they can they don't need to play right now. Okay. If he's, I, if he's good enough to play now, I mean he'll be good enough to play maybe sometime later. Gotcha. See, I find that so refreshing because I only have one sports question for this entire fucking sure. podcast. Mm -hmm. And I find it fascinating the parents that have their kids. I mean, did your parents have you playing football like in diapers type shit? No, I started whenever I was in, I think I played flag in fourth and then tackle in fifth. But I mean, I wanted to play. It wasn't like, I begged my parents. Oh, okay, so it wasn't like the Tiger Woods' dad, no, like I played, you'll be doing this Yeah, shit. I played basketball and baseball too. And like, I was, I mean, I was on my parents. like. If we were ever late, like, let's go, get me there. Wow. So, like, I was, and, I mean, my boys are, I mean, they're kind of like that. Um, but nowadays, especially around here, like, people play people play sports, like, year-round. They'll play, like, one sport. They'll play baseball year-round mm -hmm. or basketball year-round or football year-round, mm. um, which I don't really believe in that. But Yeah, what the fuck is, I've never even heard about that. <clears throat> well, it's a thing. It's a it's huge a thing. thing. It's a huge thing now. I think that's really cool because I always find it a little bit, I'm not going to say creepy because I will never judge parenting, but, you know, kids in the Olympics and you just know their parents had them. Mm fucking like ice skating when they were one years old and like there for 12 hours a day mm, yeah. your parents weren't like that no not at and all. you're not going to raise your kids like that no if they want to play they can play but i mean yeah. if they don't want to play you, i mean uh, well i say that but if they <laughs> sign up to play like you're gonna finish yeah yes um you're gonna finish it out um but if you don't want to play then you know there's there's a million other things in the world you can do. Right. That's so interesting. I thought you were going to say the complete opposite. I thought like all athletes, like professional athletes, raise their kids to be like, you'll be doing the same thing 10 hours a day. Well, I mean, I think you got to look at the numbers. Like the percentage of making it to a professional level is, I mean, it's minuscule. What I mean, are the numbers? I mean, it's like 0.1 or 0 0.01. I mean, it's it's not it's not high right. at all. That, that's fucking crazy. So I want to understand, where are you from? Indiana. Indiana. Southern Indiana. Okay. About three hours north of Nashville. Okay. 
and yep. you went to Vanderbilt. Went to school here in town. Okay. Yep. Loved so you it. love Nashville. Yeah, I've been here since on and off since 2000. What's the deal with the strip clubs here? I don't think there are anymore. Uh, well, I drove in from the airport and all I saw was strip clubs and they looked very intriguing and I heard it's like a scene here. Are there strip clubs here now? I thought they'd get rid of them. Jay, you, you could be honest. You don't need to act like you don't. I You've I mean, never seen in, one. Co in college, there were strip, there, they had strip clubs. And then I thought they got rid of them or they went to like the pasties. Mm, that's how Utah is, yeah. But then I thought they got rid of them completely. Are they you, got rid of strip clubs completely? What state is going to do that? I don't think they're... I mean, are you sure that you saw signs for I'm strip clubs? I'm positive. I mean, I feel like... I believe you because I feel like you search them out, but... I mean, maybe they had pasties or how to cover their vagina. I'm not okay. sure. I'm telling you right now. Okay, here we go. <laughs> deja Vu... Oh, I didn't know Deja Vu was still open. Okay. I saw like three on my way from the airport. So Deja Vu... Okay. We, I mean, we went there in college. Mm-hmm. Crazy Horse. I don't know where that's at. Hustler. Mm. There's a male strip club here in town. Okay. I did not know that. Hunk Hunkomania, male strip club. Hunkomania. Brass Stables Jockey Club. That's, I don't, I mean, I think I'm, I'm, get, hey, are there, sh are there strip <laughs> Jay, clubs Jay. here still? In, yeah. yeah they're, they're not like. Don't they like, almost you closed? You can't show vagina. And you can't, you got, there's, there's like, pay Topless only. Okay, in Utah. I mean, that's pretty standard, right? <laughs> no, is it? No, because in Utah, it's like if there's liquor, then you have to cover your vagina and your nipples, I believe. If there's not liquor, you can be completely naked. I don't naked. think I've ever been to a strip club where they're completely naked. Really? Wait a second. I don't think, and I've been to some strip clubs. What was the last strip club I went to? Like 11 in Miami? They don't show their Was it pussy. last week? <laughs> it was a couple of months ago. <laughs> no, they don't. I, I'm pretty positive. Like, you're thinking of like a... Like a <laughs> An alleyway? Yeah. Like, where the fuck were you? Yeah. Like, you were with, with like a hooker or something. <laughs> I'm almost positive they always have bottoms on. Right. Yes. Actually, now that you're bringing it up, you're right. <laughs> I'm pretty sure. I don't know what strip club I was talking about. It doesn't exist. So... You grew up close to Nashville, mm -hmm. and then you went to Vanderbilt, mm -hmm. which, were you Vanderbilt smart, or were you like football Vanderbilt smart? Uh, I mean, everyone was football. I mean, actually, that's not true. I mean, 98%, <laughs> well, probably 95% <laughs> of the football team was football Vanderbilt smart. Okay, got yeah. it. We couldn't, I mean, Vanderbilt... I mean, it still is. It's like one of the top. I mean, it's the right. Ivy, Ivy, Ivy League of the South, I think that's what they say. Uh-huh. Um, so, I mean, we're engineers, doctors, lawyers. Yeah. I mean, accountants. Yeah. I mean, they're saving the world. So, would your teachers just, like, you failed a test and they're like, you know what, you're really good at football. Uh, you killed it this no, game. No, it was actually the opposite. Really? I feel like sometimes they, they were out to just get us. Really? Yeah. I mean, we had a handful of teachers that were really cool, um, but you always had to do the work. Like mm -hmm. there was no, there was no free ride okay. at all. So and there and there was an honor code. <laughs> so if you got caught, the te I mean, there were teachers that would leave the room what? during a test. Okay. But the other kids would rat you out in a heartbeat. What the. F Fuck Vanderbilt oh, yeah. college is that? Yeah. I mean, because I mean these kids are like fighting for their grades. And I mean I I understand. And it. they hate you because they're yeah. like, you're here. Yeah, you're here. You're, we're paying right. we're paying fifty thousand dollars to be here. You uh -huh. you idiots are just mm -hmm. free ride. So I mean I understood it because I mean they're they want to get a good grade and they're they're looking at you and you're, you're trying to cheat and they're like, no, not happening. No, but mm, those are the people that like when they're older, like the Karen's oh, and they snitch out people for absolutely absolutely no reason yeah. like I I'm not down with that so all right Vanderbilt then when were you drafted to the NFL 2006 okay mm -hmm. and you got a really big contract mm -hmm. Denver did your family or your friends treat you differently no. when they found out how much money you make <laughs> No, I, I, I mean, I think I've been lucky. Like, I've always had a kind of a tight circle. Yeah. And it really hasn't changed um, for a long time. Mm -hmm. So kind of the friends I had um, at that time are, are kind of still in my group now. So. Gotcha. And there's people along the way, obviously. But, you know, my core group is still 
Yeah. Kind of is what it is. But you start picking up the check and shit when you go. Oh, 100%. Out. Yeah. Yeah. I, yeah, and that still happens today. Yeah. I need richer friends. <laughs> right? Yeah. <laughs> but at the same time, do you sometimes feel like you do it, like you absolutely don't have to? Uh, uh, I mean, it depends who I'm with. Like, if I'm with my good, I mean, there's there's people that hear, like, I mean, they'll, they, they pick up the check. Like, yeah. But, like, if I invite people out or, you know, it's something like that and mm -hmm. it's, it's a, a big one, like, I'll, I'll, I'll just take it. It's fine. Yeah. So I don't make as much money as you. <laughs> I know you got screwed out of 60 million. <laughs> yeah, exactly. And I'm the type uh, that I would be heated about that. Oh, I I mean to this day, but what are you gonna do? Yeah, there's nothing you can do. Nothing. No. I just gotta make another $60 million deal and it will happen. I'm saying it right now. I'm manifesting it. I'm putting it on my vision board, like done deal. I I do believe that. How you many do? how many podcasts have you done so far on, on your on, on the new one? What do you mean? Like how many like Episodes? what yeah, what number is this? Yeah. Ooh, 80 something. Oh, yeah. Interesting, because I did about 80 something on the other one, yeah. or 100. Kind of interesting. But um, I I don't make that much. I mean, I do very well. Yeah. And I do better than a lot of my friends. Do you do ads? What are your ads? Do you do ads? Yes. yes. Do you? Um, yeah. I mean, we pick and choose. Right. So I don't really care that much. So to like, make I'm, money? I'm just so not, what, is this a hobby? No, I mean... There's we'll, no way you're doing this for fun. No, 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 real. I get paid, but like I'm just not going to read certain ads. Yeah. Like yes. I'm, I'm just not... Like, I think we were supposed to do one yesterday. I'm like, I'm not reading this. Yeah. So I've definitely happening. come across some of those. Yeah. And it's it's a little bit... Did you approve the ad and then you were like, fuck no? No, no, no. I never... Like the first time I saw it was never... They, they'll send it to me and I'm just like, nope. Yeah. Uh, hard pass, guys. Yeah. I think the worst ad I ever did was on my old podcast and it was Tushy or something. And it was a bidet. Ooh, you know what a bidet is. I love a bidet. You do. Oh gosh, who doesn't like a bidet? To do an ad for it though. I would a it million send a, send them my way. I will. But you know what the fucked up thing is? You is don't, why I, would you not read that? <laughs> no, I ended up reading it. Of and all I, the things that you no. choose, all the all the shit that comes out of your mouth, you don't read a bidet ad. <laughs> Unbelievable. I don't want to do an ad for an attachment to a toilet. However, I take that completely back if you want to work with me right now. But the fucked up thing is I called it a bidet. Uh, that's why I didn't want to read In it. In the ad, I said bidet <laughs> and I released it to however million something people listen to it. And I kind of wanted to crawl into a hole and die. Didn't, but... get, didn't get paid on that one. <laughs> no, I still did. <laughs> did they send you one? They did. Did you hook it up? I didn't. Why? I don't, I'm fine. I don't, you, why do you love the bidet so much? You love water being shot up your ass? Why? I mean, it, it's just a very clean feeling. <laughs> I don't know why you're so anti. <laughs> I've never met anybody that's like so hardcore. I no, hate them so I, much. To do an ad for it, like when I'm in Europe, I'll use it, you know? So you only use bidets in Europe? Yeah. Oh my gosh. <laughs> do you have one in your house or something? No, but now if they have attachments to one, I'm okay. gonna I'm gonna get one. Damn, we just gave Tushy five minutes of free promotion. Tushy, and hit me up. I'm your yeah, guy. Yeah, one hundred percent. So okay, um, you were making a bunch of money. Your family and your friends weren't pieces of shit mm -mm. and treating you differently. No. Um, Maybe alone here and there. Which then, I understand. Uh, yeah, I mean, helped out my parents. Um, yeah. You know, bought some cars, did the, all the normal stuff. Yeah, but, yeah. But nothing crazy. Yeah, I've helped out my parents too. Yeah, bought a, bought a, bought a, buy yourself a house. Mm-hmm. Bought a few cars. Bought yourself a house. Yeah. That's not helping out your parents. That's helping out yourself. Yeah, I think I bought my parents a house. Okay. Or a car. I forget. Okay, I'm not that lovely yet. Yeah. But I'll get there. Yeah. One hundred percent. You're heading that way. <laughs> Keep doing bidet ads. You'll be fine. <laughs> And calling them vedettes, I'm yeah. gonna fucking kill it. So, I need to ask you this shit. Mm -hmm. And I know, I mean, you retired when? 17? 18? 17 maybe? Okay. Maybe 18? I forget. Okay. So, a lot of women listen to my podcast. Yeah. And a lot of them want to bag an athlete. Mm -hmm. How do they do it? How could a girl bag you? Uh, be cool and hot. <laughs> <laughs> I no, there's got to be more to the formula. Give me uh, well, step by step. Well, I mean, 
Now is I'm in a whole different scenario now. Like whenever I'm single, mm-hmm. um, I mean I think everyone's different. Um, I no, was, they're you guys are all the same. That's Come on. Not, that's that is so ridiculous. Are all you girls the same? Absolutely not. Men so, are the same. Girl. Oh come on. A hundred percent. I don't think that that's true. Okay. People, you know what? You're right. You're people. Right. Well, I mean, here's I mean here's the question. Like, why are some people attracted to some people and not others? Like, it's just it's it's come. It's okay. That's fine. We're all different. Yes. As human beings, sure. we're all very different. Yes. But to bag an athlete in general, and I mean, you are not playing anymore. But like, you saw your friends and sure. shit. Mm-hmm. How can a girl get an athlete? Because I've never dated one. I I don't want to date an athlete. Why? Because you guys scare me a little bit. How so? Just, you guys have too much money, too much fame, too many girls after you. And I think that's just like a recipe for disaster. You know what I mean? Well, I think there's a lot of truth to that. And that's why I would be, I would tell any girl, like, be really careful with that, with that world. Yeah. But girls don't give a fuck. They still want it. So um, how do they get it? Uh, do all the things that they basically want you to do. <laughs> And be, I feel that. Yeah, and be cool and... Um, be cool. Yeah. Be cool, be hot. Yep. Be willing to do whatever he wants. Probably. <laughs> what are we, in the 50s right now? It's like... You're the one that it's a, you're <laughs> the one that said it. So you said probably. So when you were single, would you fly girls out? Uh, yeah. Here and there. Here and there, yeah. That's a thing, right? When you're an athlete, it's like because you guys travel so sure. much. yeah. But like we're not like in football, like we were in and out. Like so, like baseball, hockey, some of the basketball. Like they stay in a city for like three or four nights. Okay. So that's a whole different world. Where mm. in football, we flew out Saturday afternoon, go to the hotel, meetings, play Sunday, and we're literally on the bus back at the airport, flying back Sunday night. Oh, okay. Gotcha. I don't care if it's two o'clock in the morning. Like we're flying back. Okay. We never stay the night. Really. No. That's fucking crazy. I had no idea. No, if we played a, if we, you played a Monday night game on the road, you would get back. You play the Monday night game, and then wherever you're at, you, you fly back home. You get home Monday yeah. or Tuesday morning at, you know, five a.m. So that's kind of the best sport if you if you want to date an athlete. If I was going to, I'd date a football player. Sure. Yeah. I would not date hockey. a baseball player. Definitely not. I'm not. That's the worst. Yeah. I had a friend that dated a baseball player and like always gone. Well, there's 100 and what, 62 games or something like that. And there's a lot of downtime. Mm-hmm. It's baseball. There's a it's lot of boring. downtime mean cheating. I mean, I'm not, I mean, we're <laughs> literally, we're, we're pigeonholing athletes in a very bad light here. No, so. you guys, what? You guys like run the world. So we need to do that. We need to like humble you guys. Oh gosh. Well, I'm not an athlete anymore. So fire away. <laughs> knock, knock, knock yourself out. Right. There are, I will say this. There are a lot of good guys out there. Yeah. You just have to be, I think you just have to be selective, like anything else. But I mean, like, it, we're taking a, a, a little pocket of people. Like, you can look at any group and say, hey, like, there's a bad, there's a bad, right. bad girl or a bad guy in, in any situation. Mm. Yes. If you go in the podcast world, like, there's, there's, there's going to be a bad guy. There's going to yeah. be a girl that cheats. Like, it just is what it is. Okay, but if we're looking at stats and like the ratio between cheaters and non-cheaters, athletes, rappers, you guys are, you guys tend to, you know, fool around a little. Which um, I, I am, I've cheated plenty of times in my life, by the way, but I'm a reform cheater. I've never, I would never do it again. <laughs> until next time. <laughs> The fact that I just had to like say it like that and confess it like that is terrifying. Um, (laughs) (laughs) So never again. Never again. I mean, maybe. No, I swear to God, I won't. Okay. I mean, I don't know if I believe you, but. I mean, no, I won't. I won't do it. I won't do it. Would you just break up with them? Mm Mm-hmm. That's the thing. Yeah. That's what I've learned. Yes. Break up. Like break up. Be done. It's it's fucking stupid. Yeah. Sometimes if it's going to be a one-off thing mm-hmm. and you sleep with someone one time and then you'll never cheat again and like you don't ever talk to that person again. So as a reform cheater. <laughs> it's not. It's a that, little bit different. That's acceptable? <laughs> no, it's not acceptable, but like it's more understandable. You know? Is it though? I don't know. I kind of think everyone deserves a one-time cheat. 
in their relationship or marriage. Just uh, a one time. I disagree. You do? 100%. Yes. I mean, I think, okay, if you're dating, sure. But once you're married, once it's you're married, different. it's it's okay. It's that's all, true. It's off. It's 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 a no go. That's true. And I haven't been married. And yeah. once I make that oath, and yes. you know, yeah. then I will never do it. Yeah. Bible for sure, one hundred percent. Okay. Okay. Yes. Everyone, that was like a for real thing. Yeah, we we came to an agreement here. Yes. Yes. <laughs> yes, we did. This is random. So it's safe to say you're gonna <laughs> cheat again. <laughs> Not when I have a ring on it. Got it. Engaged? But, but, what is engaged? Is engaged? What about engaged? You're just engaged. You're engaged for a year. That's a gray zone. Yeah, I know. But once it's marriage, it's done. Okay, and, so, and I so so engaged. So that. you're engaged. You're it's still it's still on the table for you. The the one time cheat. It's yeah. called the one time cheat. There's no emotions. It's like you never hear from that person again. Oh, fair enough. But when you're married, absolutely not. Got it. Unless you're 10 years into it. Oh gosh, I mean, you have then... so many, so many <laughs> outs here. No, 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 this is what I think. Okay, 10 years in. You guys are bored. Can you open the relationship? Now after 10 years of marriage, you want to open a relationship. This isn't cheating though. This is like, let's- The conversation? Mm-hmm. Okay. We're bored. Let's like either do a threesome or like let's have an open relationship or you know. Well, it's a conversation with you and your husband. Yeah. Maybe he's down for it. Maybe he's not. What, well, if, what if he? What, what if he's not? Then we'll have to figure something out. But I won't cheat. I will not cheat. Okay. Maybe divorce. <laughs> divorce and then and then. <laughs> <laughs> what the fuck am I saying? I've never been married. How many times have you been married? Once. Once, yeah. one time. Yeah. Okay, I need to ask you this. this is gonna sound so random. Mm -hmm. Your dad, you have three beautiful kids. Mm -hmm. Do you find it weird or hot if a girl calls you daddy in bed? I don't think it's ever happened, but I would. I wouldn't find it weird. You have never had a girl call you daddy Maybe. in bed? I don't know. You don't listen to him. <laughs> yeah, I, I, I'm here to do what I need to do. <laughs> um, <laughs> I, I mean. No, I mean, I'm fine with it. I mean, I am a dad, so I feel like, I don't know. So it's not creepy. No. But it's not like a turn on. It's yeah, whatever. it's not like, it's not like, yeah. keep doing that. Yeah. <laughs> like, please, I, please, I love it. No, it's not. Okay, I, what is a turn on? What's dirty talk girls can do, specifically for an athlete? Everyone, I love I say specifically for an athlete. Yeah, like, no. home run, you everyone's, killed it today. Everyone's, everyone's different. Like, I don't really do... I don't really like a lot of talking. Okay, so you're mute, which is the worst type of guy. I wouldn't to say have sex I wouldn't with. say mute, but mm -hmm. like there's not like a we're not having a, a verbal conversation. So there's no dirty talk. It's like, hi, and then it's just like moaning, and then it's over. You're really painting me in a bad light. This <laughs> one. I'm not, but like, do you say like you're hot? This feels good. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Sure, sure, sure. Okay, sure, so you do sure. you do the basics. Yeah. But you're just saying like you don't have like a full blown combo with like no. details. I feel like you you don't shut up. One hundred percent. Yeah. Actually, it depends. Well, see, here's here's the thing. Like, if you're that way, mm -hmm. like the guy can't be talking too all the time. I mean, you guys are literally just shouting at each other. You know what? what? <laughs> Shouting. Yeah, I shout when I have sex. I'm like <laughs> talking the entire time. No, I know how much to talk. I don't have an issue with guys not doing too much dirty talk. Mm. I don't like if a guy is mute where he like, you, I don't you, even you, know if yeah, it feels Yeah, good. you have no idea. Yeah. Yeah, sure. That's, okay. that, that's understandable. So we're on the same page yes, there. Yes, yes. So if someone calls you daddy, it's fine. Yeah. But it's not like a huge turn on. No. And there's nothing that would like really turn you on that a girl says in bed specifically. Depends on the girl. Yeah, depends on the girl. Depends on the girl. Yeah. Okay, I feel that 100%. Um, okay, so I am not that familiar with sports we've, and football. We've established that. Which I've said 50 mm -hmm. million times. I did watch you on Barry Cavallari. Yep. Cavallari? Say it however you want. Calamari. It's not my problem. <laughs> Calamari, that's what it is. <laughs> I mean, I, I only watched a few episodes. Yeah. What was that like having your family on reality TV and being on reality TV? You didn't. Uh, we didn't put the kids on. That was kind mm. of a that was kind of a, a sticking point. Um, I remember that. Actually. Yeah. So we didn't do that. So I got back from Miami, and um, the store was opening. We had just moved. We had moved to Nashville from Chicago. The kind of the 
eight months before. Mm. So I got back and they were kind of, I mean, they were, they were rolling. Oh, okay. Um, so what, you got so we, so, home and they were like. So we did, I think we did, I'm trying to think of the timeline. I think we did like a sizzle, a few stuff before I left for Miami. And then I went to Miami and when we, whenever I got back, um, cameras were up. Okay. You know, we're, we're doing it. So did you tell like your wife or whoever, like, I want to do this? Your um, act, excuse yeah, me. it wasn't, I mean, it was one of those things like she had kind of supported me through for the last, right. for the last however many years. Mm -hmm. And so I was like, you know, I'll, I mean, I wasn't jumping, jumping at it. Yeah. Um, but I was like, you know, I'll, 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 support I'll, you. I'll do this. I, I, totally I mean, that. kind of supported her. I wouldn't say I was, yeah, I mean, I did it. You did it. I went through the motions. I saw you on it, so yeah. you absolutely did it. Yeah. And did you like hate when cameras were there? Oh yeah. <laughs> like I, I mean, I, the first season was probably the roughest. It got easier as we, because we did three, and by the third one, I mean I still wasn't thrilled with mm -hmm. it. But I mean we had lights up in the kitchen. I mean for you know three four months. Shut up Just taped for up. filming. Shut, yeah. I would lose my shit. Yeah. I and would then, lose my mind. We, I mean, we tried to film when the kids were gone, um, and if I ever filmed with her, it, I mean, we were pretty quick. Yeah. Because, I, mean, I mean, she was a pro, I and mean, she grew up in that world. Uh -huh. um, so, you know, I would say it was soft scripted. They would come in and be like, hey, let's talk about this. You know, yeah. you guys put your own spin on it, and I mean, 20, mm -hmm. 30 minutes, and I'm, I'm, I'm out. I'm done. Yeah. You know what? I like you and respect you so much more after hearing that because I remember watching and again I only watched like a few episodes and you just kind of seemed like a dick mm -hmm. but you're not mm -hmm. like you're not a dick at all and now understanding like I wouldn't I don't want to do reality television I wouldn't want like cameras in my face 24 7 or whatever it was you'd be good at it <laughs> why is that because um, I'm just the most like over the top no, I don't think you're over the top. I mm -hmm. mean, I think you would just, it would be, I mean, it'd be an interesting show. I've had a lot of people approach me to do it, yeah. but I don't know. I feel like once you do reality television, you're fucked, kind of. How? Oh. Just like your entire life is exposed for the world. Well, I mean, I think you're already kind of doing that with your podcast. Yeah, but I can pick and choose. Well, I mean, in a reality, I mean, we picked and choose. Like, there's, okay. there's 100% 100, 100 like certain things like not showing yeah. off the table. But that, but that was a different one. Like, have you watched Real Housewives? Um, I mean, I know of it. See, is that, sh or am I just living in denial? Is, is all of it scripted to some degree? It 100, is. 100%. Okay, so I'm an idiot, and I yeah. just, like, still live Yeah, I mean, unless, like, what was the one, like, Big Brother or something, where, like, they had the cameras in there 24-7? Mm -hmm. Like, I mean, reality reality shows are... Big Brother, I remember that yeah, shit. I don't, I never watched it. I, I just know the cameras are up there. Uh-huh. Um, but, like, yeah, reality TV is, like, it's all scripted to a to a, start, to, to a degree yeah yeah okay so i guess i'm coming out like i'm sure some show. of these some of these fights that these girls have are probably maybe it's just part of the moment stuff but yeah i mean a lot of it is yeah construed they, yeah the producer comes in and says hey we're talking about x y and z uh-huh um do, do they it. tell you like act angry act sad no, no act. i mean no they they kind of just i mean they'll They'll pitch the, you know, mm -hmm. the plan to it, and then you know if you're, if you're supposed to be upset or if you're supposed to be mad, like you just play that part. Yeah. Were you ever like, fuck no, I'm not about to have that conversation. Yeah, never stops. All the time. Yeah. We're like, we're not, <laughs> not, I already know. I was like, ninety percent. I was like, I'm not, we're not. I'm not doing this. <laughs> so, do but, you, but by the third season, like they kind of figured out like what's what? what's a no go and what's what is what's what what, what I'll do. What right. I'll do. Right. Do you think, and I'm sure Kristen was like probably way more comfortable airing out more shit, right? Because she's used to that life, which makes sense. Yeah, loves it. Do you think that, <laughs> loves it. Do you think that that being on that reality show like contributed to the divorce in any way? Um, no. No? No. That had nothing to do with it. Um, yeah, I would say no. Mm -hmm. I don't think so. Yeah. Um, I don't know what she would say, but I, I mean, I think. Well, I mean, she has said some stuff, right? <laughs> she says a lot of things. She, she said a lot of things on <laughs> So Funny, my ex's podcast, no. your ex, our exes collabed. She said, you know, the, the marriage was toxic. It was unhealthy. Yeah. There were a lot of red flags. Mm -hmm. Like, what do you have to say to that? You're like, nothing. 
Say whatever you want. Yeah, I mean, that's kind of been my whole thing through this whole thing. Like, we, I mean, I've got three kids. So, like, at some mm -hmm. point, they're going to, they're going to read stuff. They're going to ask questions. So, yeah. um, I've kind of steered clear of all of that. If she wants to say stuff, she can say stuff. Yeah. Um, I'm not going to go down that road. And um, I respect that. About her. Mm -hmm. I mean, she's still the mother of the kids. So, of um, course. And when we, and we had three kids together, we were together for I don't know how many years. Um, so you don't know, you know. Eight. I've, we're eight married is. for seven. I think okay. together for nine, ten. Um, mm -hmm. And if that's the way she feels, I mean, it's it's changed over the, the course of two and a half years. Her her feelings about the marriage, sure, right? Yeah. Because it starts to get messy, like when it comes to like the yeah. finances. And but I also don't understand, like it's two and a half years, like. Why are we Why are we having these conversations? Right. What do you mean by that? In public. Like, why are we Why are we Why are we doing this? Well, that's what I found a little bit strange. Is she like prefaced it by saying, "He's the father of my kids. Like, my parents would never do that. I'm not going to talk about." And then she was like, "Toxic, <laughs> unhealthy as fuck, red flags everywhere." I was it's, like, uh, yeah, "Wait, it, what?" It, it's comical. Yeah. It doesn't make sense. It was a little bit interesting. Yes. But but to your point, two and a half years, what do you mean? You're like, what changed in that span of time? No, I don't care what changed. Mm -hmm. What's happened is what happened. Why are you being public two and a half years later? Exactly. Right. Yeah. That makes sense. Why? And now I now we have to have this conversation now. And yeah. It's like, come on, man. Let's right. just, we're, we're done here. You know there's a... There's a new reality show coming out, maybe, and that's why. Possibly. <laughs> or there's like shit going on with like your lawyers and shit financially. No, we're done with that. Didn't you like freeze her bank accounts or that's something? That's completely untrue. <laughs> that is so no. far from the truth, it's not even close. Which, right? Because yeah. I'm sure she has her own shit. Um, it wasn't like you were like shelling out cash to her. She had an American Express just like I did. Right. No, that didn't happen. So why, like, doesn't it say that in the court documents? Uh, I don't know. I've never read them. There was never a frozen account. Okay. You there, never froze her cards. Why the fuck would you even want to? I mean, I'm not even sure if I know how to. <laughs> so no, she, uh, she had money. Yeah. I mean, uh, she bought a house, so like, she was fine. Okay. But you didn't want to give her the $5 million house or some shit. Oh, uh, she got it. Oh, she did? Yeah. Okay, are you looking for a new wife? Because we can't get divorced, <laughs> and I would like a $5 million house. And <laughs> so what do you think? Are you good with kids? Do I have kids? Are you good with kids? Amazing. We can talk later. What do you think was the reason for the divorce then? Because um, people shouldn't be like together longer than 10 years. I kind of feel strongly about that. She might agree with you that. I, I mean, that's a question for Kristen. Um, mm -hmm. And like I said, it's changed over the years, so... Oh, yeah, she wanted to get divorced, right? You sure. wanted to... Yeah. Yeah. Did you cheat? Nope. Okay, I read that, too. Yeah. People read a lot of things. People read a lot of shit about me that wasn't true. Nope, never cheated. Mm-hmm. No once. Okay, so the divorce, you have no idea why it happened. <laughs> oh, I mean, I, I mean, I mean, she... She, I guess she fell out of love. I, I mean, that's... I fell mean, out of love. Or, or it was toxic. I mean, depends on the day, I guess. Or you, there were a bunch of red flags. Uh -huh. What are the red flags she's talking about? I'm not for sure what she said. Yeah. Um, and I, I, frankly, I don't care what she said. Honestly. Yeah. Like it's, like I said, it's two and a half years. Like. Yeah. We're we're what, yeah, we're, but... we're, we're, we're we're done here. And I mean, I'm sure there'll be a rebuttal to this, so we'll mm -hmm. stay tuned for that one. Okay, Jay. So, I want to move on to my listeners' questions. Okay. okay? And these are fucking incredible. So let's get started. SOS Save Our Sleuth. So this girl wrote in, hi, so I have been DMing this NFL player and this is my first time dipping my slutty toes into the pro athlete pool. <laughs> Please give me advice. He wants to fly me out and I want to go and get pregnant. JK. So she was kidding about that part. She's not okay. kidding. <laughs> That's not a joke. <laughs> Then she says, but I'm nervous as fuck because what should I do when I get there? Do I just get on the floor and start sucking wiener? I don't want to just let this dude fuck me because he throws a football for a living, but I don't know. I think I'm going to end up sleeping in his bed. I just need serious advice ASAP because I want to go and I'm down to fuck. But also, I want to make sure I make a good impression and not a slutty cleat chaser vibe. 
I mean, I think she's already, I think she's past the point of that. <laughs> she not? I What's her question? A... I don't even understand the question. <laughs> <laughs> Is there a question in there? She, I think she's made up her mind no, of what's happening no. here. The question is... How does she make this, a good impression? This athlete wants to fly okay. her out, but she doesn't want it to be obvious that she's a cleat chaser and she's trying to get like... Oh, she wants to get Chanel bags and a fucking vacation off, like out of it. Bottom line, this is the question. Let me, let me, do, let me say this in layman's terms. This bitch likes this athlete. Clearly. And wants to impress him okay. and wants to make sure he sticks around. Good luck. But doesn't want to, exactly, because yeah. he's going to cheat on her. Like, yeah. mm -hmm. And there's probably another one flying in next week. Exactly. Yeah. But what can she do to not come off like a desperate cleat chaser? Like, should she suck his dick? Should she sleep with him? Should she not? If she wants to come back, don't sleep with him. But suck his dick? What is it with this fucking rule and athletes and cleat chasers? One of my best friends is a self-proclaimed cleat chaser. Well, she's proud of it? I don't know I mean, if she's proud of it, but I mean, that's she's self-proclaimed, so obviously well, okay. so, she's so, proud yeah. of it. Sure. I mean, self-proclaimed like to me gotcha. in private. She <sighs> will suck athletes' dicks, but will not fuck them, and she says, they will just respect me way more, and then it leaves them wanting more. What What is with that? Is that a thing? Um, I don't know. I've been out of that world for a minute. You have friends in that world, so you can um, I, if, I, I think I, if I was a girl. <laughs> <laughs> I would suck his dick. No, I wouldn't, I mean, I would like, I would, I would, I would go to, I would make him take me to dinner. Mm. I would, Mess around, but I mean, I would, I would, I wouldn't, I wouldn't have sex with them, and okay. I wouldn't give him a blowjob. Maybe like the first time, the, yeah. fir the first trip. Maybe just like put your hands on his dick, let him finger you. Sure, 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 out. sure. Yes, yes. Maybe and then, his butthole. and then, okay. Mm -hmm. And then, and then, mm -hmm. <laughs> your poor Bert friend. And then, <laughs> and, single. Sure. Single. <laughs> yeah, I mean, it changes every five minutes. I know. Um, and then I would be like, hey, you know, I, 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 if you like them, hey, I like you, I want to come back, you know, I okay. don't want this just to be a one-time thing. So you kind of lose respect or lose interest in a girl if you, if she fucks you. But it's first. also, but it's also like, how long have you guys been talking? Right. You know, if, if this has been, if, this, if you guys are FaceTiming and have been talking and, yeah. you know, for months and this is the first opportunity, like, you guys have been together, then, I mean, that's a different story. Yeah. If you slid into his DMs two weeks ago mm -hmm. and you talk every three days and he's like, hey, come on in, that, that's, yeah. I mean... That's true. Then you're setting yourself up for failure. That's a good point. I have never slid into a DM in my life. I don't know if I believe that. What... A thousand percent, never. I've never had to. Well, yeah, people slide into your DMs, mm -hmm. so you just respond to those. No, not really. Pick and choose. I f no. Uh, have I ever gone on a date with someone in a DM? No. It's it's always been like an organic thing, or on a dating app once or twice. Mhm. Mm you believe that or no? Yeah. Okay. Thank you so much for believing that. So, girl, I mean, I am a firm. I'm okay with sleeping with a guy on a first date and a first hangout. I don't see anything wrong with it, to be honest. Like, you, what if, what if it's like the first time you've met him and talked to him? Like, it's like, hey. Mm, like I was at a bar. You're at a, you're, you're at a bar, let's say you're at a bar, you met a guy, and it's like, hey, can I take you out tomorrow night? And you're like, yes. You hit it off, are you sleeping with him that mm, night? You know what, Jay? You're you're good at what you do because Thank my you. entire podcast career I would I condoned like sleeping on a first date. Sure. I think mm, now that I'm a little bit older, I think I would be a little bit careful about it. Are you laughing because I'm 30 yes. and you're like, shut the fuck up, bitch, you're not old. I'm a little bit older. <laughs> For girls, once you hit 30, it's like, girl, you are in a different playing field sure. now. So um, are, we, are, we, are we going back on the sleeping first yeah. date situation? Yeah. I mean, unless it depends if I just wanted to fucking have fun. But if I actually kind of liked the dude, maybe I would hold off. Yeah, see? Second date, free for all. Yeah. 
One hundred percent. But I think the first one, maybe like let's like you know, yeah. let's make out first. Sure. You know, walk before the home. penis goes in. Walk me home. <laughs> walk me home first. Okay, next question. Hi, Sophia. I'm currently 32 and single. I find it harder and harder to meet guys at this age and wondered if you had any pointers. Dating apps suck. I tell you what. Do you, I mean, do you mostly just get relationship questions? Is that kind of the thing? No, sex, relationship, sex, relationship, mental health. Got it. Um, there's some girls on dating apps in the office, and like I'll look at them and try to help them. The guy population is brutal. Scary. It's terrifying. It is scarce. So why? We're we're all like the good guys. I don't know. I mean, there's. I mean, Nashville is flooded with beautiful girls. Yes. It is. I mean, it's insane. Utah's like that too. Um. Yeah, but then you gotta be like, are you Mormon or not? Like, right. you gotta weed through that. But the Mormons are the hottest. They ones are. Because all they're trying to do is attract a husband. So they're like, I need to be hot for a living. Maybe I need to that go. was maybe, a big generalization. Maybe, not all of them, but maybe I should go to Utah. You absolutely should. Um, but you're gonna have to soak. But I think I think you'd be into that. If someone's underneath you the park, bed. Yeah, you park it. You have your friend go underneath the mattress. That's kind of weird. I don't know. Anyway, yeah. back to her question. Mm -hmm. Um. Yeah, I feel for her. It's yeah. hard. 32. I would hate to be a, I mean, they're, they're out there, but I would hate to be like a 30-something-year-old girl single trying to date. So if a girl's 30, are you like, I need them in their 20s? No. Because you're what? How 39. Old? You're 39? Mm -hmm. Okay, so you, have, you should have no issue with a girl in her 30s. I never said I did. But you're saying it's brutal for girls out here in their 30s to find a guy. Yeah. Because I don't think there's a lot of good guys out gotcha. there. I think the, I think the the pop, population of thirty something year old girls mm, is, is a lot bigger, bigger. Than, than the guy, the good guy population. Yeah, yeah. Like you go on the dating apps and it's like one guy after another, like without a shirt on I or know. doing something stupid, and it's like, come, mm -mm. come on, dudes. Model guys or guys like showing off their six pack and their profile picture, like you guys are done. Just stop it. My advice for this girl, she's 32, go for a younger guy. That, that's what we're doing now. Is that what, is that to play? That's a trend. And just kind I mean, and just mold them to kind of whatever you want? Yeah. Uh, that, uh, that's, uh, I mean, if I was a girl, that's what I would do. Yeah. I mean, they're not mature, but like, you'll, you know. You'll Can you just whip them into shape? Brain, brainwash, brainwash them. them. Yeah. A thousand percent. Gaslight them, brainwash them. You'll, you'll get exactly what you want. It's genius. Okay, this is the last question. And uh, Jay, you are going to be very helpful in answering this because I don't know too much about it. This is actually serious. <laughs> So uh, she says, it feels serious. I need help. I have been with my boyfriend for six years and I'm very happy with the status of our relationship. He has diabetes type one and when his sugar levels are high or low, it affects his performance in the bedroom. Okay. I'm an extremely sexual person and the first few years of our relationship, our sex life was amazing. Now, not so much. We have sex maybe once a week and I rarely finish. Yeah. When we are trying to have sex, he either can't get it up or doesn't last long enough for me to come and it makes me feel unattractive. What can I do? It's not a blood sugar problem. It's not? No. What's the problem then? He's either not into her or it's uh, different. Straight up? He, like an erectile dysfunction issue. Mm. It's, 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 I mean, unless his numbers are just I mean, if you get low, I mean, if your blood sugar gets low, um, you know, you drink some orange juice. Can't, or something. I was gonna say, can't you eat a rice krispie yeah, treat? Yeah, like you're fine. Like okay, it's and if it's high, like it doesn't. It, it's still gonna work. Okay, so there's something else. There's going some. On. There, there, there's, that's that's an excuse. Okay, is my guess. Uh, for him on his end, he's yeah. he's blaming it on that. He's, he's blaming it on that. I I I, I would. I mean, I'm not a doctor. Mm -hmm. Sometimes I think I am, but I'm but not. You, but you have diabetes, yes, right? Yes, for sure. So you would fucking know. I mean, you're everyone, saying this is BS. Every, everyone's different, but I mean, I'm calling BS on that. Okay. I'm, I'm saying that there's something else going on here. Mm -hmm. um, yeah. It, I would. I find it very, I mean, I've never heard that. And yeah. I've had sex with my blood sugar's low. I've had it when it's high. I've had it when it's great. <laughs> like, I'm sure you have. It's not, it's never. Been I'm, an issue. Uh-uh. Okay, so she's wondering, like, what can I do? It makes me feel unattractive. I love him. I don't want to make him feel bad. He's lying to you, bitch, so you better bring it up. 
Maybe. We're not 100% We're not 100%. sure. I mean, I would have a conversation with them, and I would be like, hey, what's your blood sugar at? If it's yeah. good, let's have sex right. right now. Can't you fix your blood sugar? For like, sure. Okay, well, then fucking have him fix it. Have him eat a Rice Krispie, and then yep. fuck you. Yeah, and be like, hey, we're having sex right now. Your yeah. blood sugar's perfect. Yeah. And if he doesn't, A, or B, still got a problem, now you know. There's something else going on. For sure. Okay. That was fucking... I had no idea, and I think that was... Uh, I mean, I don't think she's going to like that answer, because... No, but we need to tell her the truth. For sure. Well, I mean, it was either that, or she's going to, like, be unsatisfied sexually for her whole relationship, so... Which is not which is not good for anybody. No. Not good for anyone at all. Okay, Jay, you are fucking hilarious. This is a very unlikely vibe that I thought we were going to have, but I feel like we... <laughs> Fucking hit it off. Thank you so much for having me. No Jay, problem. your podcast, Uncut. Mm -hmm. You guys can find Jay Cutler there. And I will talk to you guys next week. Bye.